Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to how to make a Roblox rig series. In this one, I will be showing you how to do the vertex groups for this. So weight painting. So, so this is actually a bit of a big step for some people and we're going to be leaving out the torso for this part of the tutorial and we're only going to be focusing on the head and the arms and the legs. So let's just explain what vertex groups are. So vertex groups literally mean the identification of what should be moved around when a bone is moved around. So let's say if I move this around, I want these two vertex groups to move with it. Of course, that's just an example. We're not actually going to be doing that. So let's go with the left arm first. Let's go into uh, front mode and make sure you have wireframe and x-ray on. So to start off with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down on shift and click all of the body parts that we said we're going to focus on today apart from the head actually and what we're going to do is make sure the last thing we select is the armature and press ctrl p and this time in a pop-up we're going to put armature deform now on the left arm go to the object data properties right here in the panel vertex groups this is what we're going to be focusing on today so i'm just going to scale this up just so you can see it more so we're going to be adding two vertex groups for each arm and leg so what we're going to do is we're going to press plus twice on here in the vertex cruise panel. And now we have two right here in the list. So call the top one, uh, whatever you whatever you call the left upper arm. I called it left upper arm. So I'm just going to put this in. And for the lower arm, I'm just going to put in the name for that. So make sure the names are correctly put in. Make sure they're spelt correctly. Make sure there are no uh make sure there are no wrong capitals it's all it, it needs to be the exact same so let's go into the upper arm so we're going to go into front view and we're going to go into edit mode i'm going to change the selection from vertex to faces and what we're going to do is we're going to box select so just by holding down and dragging if this doesn't show up for you just make sure right here in the select box if you hold down make sure select box is what is selected of course you can just press ctrl b and do it like that um so what we're going to do is for the left upper arm make sure you're in wireframe x-ray and select this part of the arm make sure all sides are selected it should be so i don't really check so just click assign right here and make sure the weight is one for both of these and for the left lower arm, i'm going to select this last bottom part of the arm right here and assign congratulations you just added your first two vertex groups and if we rotate this we can see it works we can even go into solid mode we will fix the bends later on in the series, so don't worry about that. And we're going to go and repeat the process for the left leg, so just add two. And name this one left upper leg, and name this one the left lower leg. And we're going to do exactly what we did last time, exact same faces, everything. So wireframe x-ray mode, box select these, and box select these. Same for the right part, so right upper leg right lower leg and again like this and like this one thing you might want to know is you should be selecting the correct vertex group when assigning the weights so these faces for the upper part and these faces for the lower part and for the right arm finally so we're gonna go right upper arm and finally right lower arm so just like that select these and right here select these and there we are we're done as you can see they move just the way we want them do not worry about the bends literally they are they, they are good if it shows up like this it is very good if it doesn't then you have done something wrong so make sure you're selecting the correct faces and for the head all we need to do is just hold down on a head then select the armature and then go into pose mode and select the head bone as the last one you select. Press Ctrl P on your keyboard and in the pop-up that appears, just click on bone. And now the head works and we've completed the vertex groups episode. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, if you feel like supporting me, you can go ahead and download the rig I made during this tutorial series for the cost of only £3. The download link is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!